right. So we got a little bit of a special uh, treat today. And what we're gonna do is have a look at the Depth Like app. And Depth Like is something that you can get for free from the App Store or a Google Play Store, both on Android or iOS devices. And uh, today we're gonna be able to talk with uh, the company Depth Like. Hit that like button below if you wanna let YouTube know that this is something that you might like. And also, if you want to subscribe, uh, this channel is all about mobile recording and home studio recording. So if you want to subscribe to get notified of more videos, just hit the notification bell down below after hitting the subscribe button and you'll be notified when we have other videos coming out just like this one. Without further ado, let's get to our interview and our discussion with Depth Like. Hi there. Hello. Thanks for doing this and uh, uh, taking part of your evening away because <laughs> you're uh, in Turkey. Thank you for your efforts too. Uh, we really like your channel. Uh, your content is really good. I uh, really appreciate it. Thank you very much. So what's the history of Depth Like? Depth Like is founded by two co-founders from Turkey on 2014, in the year 2014. Um, so we can say that it's relatively new, but not that much new. The main idea was to uh, provide a platform for guitar effects, pedals and amp simulations on Android. But uh, later iOS version has been developed as well, uh, as you know. The other idea is uh, to simulate um, the very popular FX pedals and amp models uh, in a d digital platform. Mm -hmm. uh, so basically, that's it. Yeah, that's uh, 2014 was definitely yeah. a big battle between Android and iOS. And even back then, there wasn't a whole lot of options on Android for recording audio, really. Yes, I think um, probably Amplitude was probably the only real option at that time. There are a few options added. Uh, uh, besides the plaque and amplitude as well, but I mean, uh, it's four or five competitors uh, as far as I know. I mean, in the mobile platform, uh, maybe not even that much, but yeah, uh, that's really a hard job to handle uh, to maintain balance between latency, audio quality on mobile platform. Uh, we can talk that later, talk about that later, but. There are a lot of issues with Android development. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, yeah. I think yes. probably anyone who has an Android phone uh, right. and records audio yeah. knows exactly what you're talking about. So you've been around since 2014 now. Um, so how has the guitar uh, like digital processing industry changed? Um, like over, we say over the last 10 years, maybe because it's been you know 12 years or so since we've had the iPhone. Uh, yes. Smartphones have revolutionized, you know, mobile recording and home studio recording even. But how do you think the guitar industry has changed since Deplike has been uh, founded in 2014? First of all, there were uh, digital stamp boxes. I mean, that was obviously before Deplike. And then the, there, there came the desktop plugins and digital processors. Uh, and they paved the way for the mobile industry. And uh, they always, there was always resistance against uh, the whole lot of the digital processing idea. Um, I, the first main idea, the first main opposition is that um, it is not going to be the same as the original. I think that's pretty, that's getting pretty irrelevant each day because um, it is getting close, uh, almost the same. Uh, we could say that uh, it d depends on the uh, setup that you use. Uh, uh, if you use a tiny speaker, that might that might might not sound the same way as the original equipment. But um, it's really a close competition between um, the digital and the analog world. I could say. And uh, the other thing is that um, 
I personally do not care if the uh, sound is the same as the original or not because I I cannot afford a cabinet a, a four time cabinet I can't uh, afford it and I can't carry even if I can afford it and <laughs> I don't have a PA system to use it so this is as close I can get to a real four time cabinet I mean. Uh, I wouldn't be able to use it in the first place if I had, even if I had the money to afford it. So uh, I think the argument is pretty invalid and the mobile industry, uh, we are, as guitar players, are compelled to uh, try the mobile solutions because um, the convenience is just irresistible. I mean, uh, who could argue with that? Yeah, hundred percent. Everything is so expensive and takes space and really complex to use. Uh, analog pedals are not easy to deal with. Analog signal, audio signal, is not easy to deal with. Uh, so it's just the beginning, I could say. The the amount of options it offers a guitar player, yeah. you know, the it's just. I mean, I think it. <clears throat> you know, you could probably even say that it may have started back when uh, Boss and uh, Digitech started releasing yeah. multi-effects pedals. Because I, I used to tour with a band uh, really? a, a while back, yeah. <laughs> back in the old days, before <laughs> smartphones, you know, literally before smartphones, I had a, I remember having a, uh, uh, what was it, a, a Motorola Crazer flip phone, I think, at the time. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I know everyone laughs at that. Yeah, that that we didn't have mobile apps or anything to change your tone from show to show. You had a big giant amp that you had to lug up and down the stairs at yes. whatever gig you were going to crush your spine while carrying it. Yep. Yeah, exactly. So, okay, over the last few years, then you know, given what we just talked about, the guitar industry kind of evolving and changing as we go as technology becomes better. Um, how has Deplike seen growth since starting um, against competitors like IK Multimedia's Amplitude and Positive Grid's Bias Effects? How does Deplike seen growth? We have seen uh, an amazing amount of growth uh, since, since the beginning because this is really an unsaturated, unconcentrated market. Not There are not much competitors, not that many competitors, and there is so much room to grow uh, and uh, without any marketing expenses, any decent marketing resources, uh, Deplike has been downloaded by more than one and a half million guitar players around the world. I mean, from uh, each corner of the world, there's a Deplike user, I could say that. Really an uh, amazing growth for us um, without uh, fulfilling so much resources uh, such as the tech giants do. But uh, yeah, we are proud. Yes. Yeah. So what sets Step Like apart from your competitors that we were just discussing? I could say that uh, the main thing that sets, sets Step Like apart is uh, the revolutionizing ability for the uh, latency problem on the Android, as you mentioned earlier. Android nat native engine uh, cannot handle the uh, audio processing, audio transmitting, or audio recording job really well uh, as yeah. you might have <laughs> yeah it's and definitely not good <laughs> yes uh, and uh, depth like is the uh, only uh, mobile app that, that can optimize it uh, so that it can work in an optimal way uh, in hundreds of android devices of course uh, it is not possible to make it work 100% on every device because uh, their Android configurations are uh, so much different and they are so they, they can be so inherently problematic that uh, you can't possibly make it work on uh, every single device on the market. But uh, yeah. like has the uh, optimum way to handle it. So uh, the Android market is, I mean, we could being a solution uh, to the Android market. Yeah. Say that. Yeah, definitely. And and I've used it. I've used the latency test on my Android phone. I have a an LG G7. It's, you know, two and a half years old. Um, you know, the latency isn't good on it. 
Um, but it, it does help. Absolutely helps. And even with, um, using a USB interface as opposed to an analog interface, um, the latency is almost gone. Uh, that's the main distinction. And, uh, the other part is the sound quality and how you get close to the uh, original sounds of the tube amps, the effect pedals and all, all of those things, yeah. uh, on mobile platform. Um, that's kind of the uh, second distinctive part of the FK. As I said, Deptike, that, that's how we uh, pronounce it in our language, but... Uh, how do you pronounce it? Dep- Deplike is as fine as a Deptike. Uh, I accidentally uh, pronounced <laughs> it that way, but... <laughs> yeah, that's that. okay. Could you maybe tell us a little bit about the process that Deplike uses to create that, your emulations? Because you have so many cabinets and, and amp simulations and pedals and all that mm-hmm. uh, within the full version of the app. Um, you know, without giving your secrets away, obviously. Um, what's the process like? Could you run us through that quick? So, uh, there's obviously a very popular demand of pedals and amps, uh, I mean, such as an orange amp or a, a Ibanez Tube Screamer a overdrive pedal. So, uh, obviously, uh, an amp or effects simulation software is going to uh, simulate them because they are such on high demand. Uh, our developers said uh, to analyze the circuit board or the circuitry of the pedals, the original uh, pedals and amps, uh, amp models. So uh, that's how they emulated uh, it into the digital software. Excellent. Uh, the circuit boards were analyzed. I've gone through a lot of the amps and the cabinets and, and uh, most of the pedals within the app. And uh, I can honestly tell you, I've got a couple of my favorites for sure. Uh, which you one are your what? favorites? Yeah. Even, even just the stock amp and stock cabinet, uh, you know, just the free uh, app itself gives you a lot of good options to be able to create a great yes. tone. And I was actually really impressed with that before I had the full version, it just using the stock app and, and, and using what's given to you right out of the free app. Mm-hmm. It, it sounded incredible. To be quite honest with you, personally, it's, it's my favorite sounding app to use. And thank you very much. I also think it's the easiest one to use. Mm. <laughs> so yes, it's just plug and play experience, basically. Yeah, and I like the drag and drop. Yeah. You know, I, I like to be able be able to just use the drag and drop, grab yes. a pedal, grab an amp, grab a cabinet. Um, I like the way the UI works. You know, just being able to to touch it, and you as long as you keep your finger on the screen, you can continuously move that knob. It doesn't have to be right on the knob or in that circular area. And yes. just little touches like that make the app so much easier to use, especially when you're on a smaller screen and you maybe can't see very well if you're in direct sunlight or something outside. It makes it very easy to use. So kudos to you guys for thinking of things like that. Thank you very much. So do you guys have any new features that are maybe coming out in the near future here? Um, I could say that we are uh, working on a Mac version, a, a desktop version of the plug, which is not exactly a feature, but uh, I could say news. For, for the time being, that's the only thing uh, we are developing uh, as a new feature. Uh, and sorry, my bad, and not the only feature. We are also working on an education side, but uh, that's the only information I can give for the time being. Guitar education uh, side of it is coming to life as well. That's awesome. The desktop version, I think that'll be fantastic. I yes. can't wait to see that. What's the time frame? do you think? Not to give any deadlines away, yeah. but uh, I know how <laughs> software yeah, development can work sometimes, that. but uh, this year, 2020? I could say within a year, hopefully. So we talked about a little bit about the latency issue on Android. Yes. So how difficult is it to produce an app that reduces the latency on Android versus iOS? I know you kind of hinted at it before. It's because of the... 
yes. the, so many different manufacturers and hardware components with Android? I would say 100% more difficult uh, because iOS itself is a uh, sort of latency-free environment in audio processing because uh, the configuration is really, uh, I mean, uh, set to work well in, uh, in every case. Uh, I'm not only the audio recording or audio processing style, but uh, it is inherently uh, well structured. Again, I don't want to sound like an Android enemy, but uh, <laughs> that's the way it is. Um, I, I love Android because of the versatility with a lot of the software with, with yes. native Android. Um, some of the features that you have on Android that still baffle me that aren't on iOS, um, just from an operating system standpoint, is why I use Android for my phone. Yes, but me too. I, but I always have an iPad for music and that this is, this is really the iOS is, is why I still have an iPad basically to be able to use GarageBand and, and Depp like, and, and any of the other music recording softwares without latency problems. What's the, like the typical turnaround time for Depp like to work on a bug or, or correct a bug that maybe comes up? When we detect a bug uh, upon user feedback or uh, within our test uh, results, uh, we immediately start working on it. And uh, it really uh, depends, but uh, I could say in a few days or uh, up to a week, uh, depending on the complexity of the situation. Okay. So uh, that, that's really, uh, I know, uh, not a great answer, but... Um, it really depends. You know what, though, um, that's a pretty short time as well. Um, you know, sometimes, like just apps that I've used before, a bug could be reported on. You know, in the app store, you'll see every mm -hmm. single person reporting a bug that is the same bug, and it's there for some time. So, so some yes. companies are very quick with it. For us, uh, it is uh, the matter of as soon as possible. I mean, uh, whenever we can get our hands to it, uh, we just try to fix it as soon as possible. Who programmed the virtual guitarist within the app? And that's a great question. Uh, a, a guitarist called Sarp Madan from Turkey. Uh, I'm s pronouncing it again, Sarp Madan. Yeah. Uh, he's a very good friend of Depp Black and he's a really highly acclaimed guitarist uh, of Turkey. Uh, he kindly played the tracks for the virtual guitarists uh, of Depp Black. Um, uh, he's an amazing jazz guitarist and I would really recommend uh, you to have a listen yeah. of I, his music. I can give everyone a listen to the virtual guitarist right now if that's all right. Okay. <laughs> it's great stuff in there. Um, so you have him to do the virtual guitarist tracks. Um, yes. And I noticed as well that um, there's a, an area in there for a preset world. So you can create your own presets, save them yes. on your account, and then share them with everyone else to preset world. Yes. Also, you can try other people's presets. Uh, if, I mean, uh, if you don't want to uh, bother doing one yourself. There's a lot of presets in there. I tried a few. I saw you have yes. a couple in there as well. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, we have an official account, uh, the like app, I believe it was called. And uh, we have great presets there. Uh, I personally have mine uh, as a user. And uh, other people uh, have really great presets as well. I, mean, I really enjoy trying uh, other people's presets. I made a preset in there just using the stock uh, amp and oh, camera. Really? And uh, 
I don't know. I, I thought I got it sounding pretty good, <laughs> but yeah, there's, I'm sure there's so many presets in there. And, and you can also search by genres, artists, bands, uh, or, uh, whatever you like with, with the hashtags. And then of course you've got the metronome added in there, the tuner, and then the backing track area. I thought it was a pretty nice thing too, because you could just load up whatever song you might be trying to learn yourself as a backing track and play along with it. Or you can load Absolutely. up bass and drum track that maybe you, you've you been working on. It, it's a really versatile app. I, I Like I said, I really enjoy using it. It's such a simple layout. Really happy to hear that. That's great. And I can't wait. Like I said, I can't wait for the desktop version. I think that's going to be awesome and a lot of people would use that because i know if i can just take the presets that i work on here and just open them up on my computer as well i did try using GarageBand uh, on ios and mm -hmm. i used uh my depth like preset through garage band yes using it as a as an effect the, the two are compatible with, she, with each other also uh with audio bus as well yeah on ios and I, I think that's another great feature because then you're not, if you're wanting to record, use the depth like tones that you've created into GarageBand, you can do that. Mm -hmm. And it worked very well. <laughs> so I, I prefer the tone that's out of nice. depth like than some of the tones that I was able to try and get in within GarageBand. So many people start recording audio with GarageBand. Uh, so what's, what's your favorite preset to use within depth like? First of all, I really like the uh, chorus and the tape delay pedals, pedal models uh, of Depth Like because uh, I really could not afford uh, buying analog chorus and delay pedals myself as a beginner guitar player. Uh, uh, I had to sell my fast pedal or overdrive pedal to buy a chorus pedal or, or anything like that. So uh, I couldn't get a chance to uh, really enjoy such as such modulation effects uh, in my analog uh, period. Yeah. <laughs> I, I made a preset for the song Message in a Bottle by The Police. Uh, I don't know if you know that, but I really I like do. that song and I really like the band uh, and made a preset for that. Yeah, I could say that's my favorite. And also, uh, I did a really good job with uh, the Tom Morello tone on a Raging is the machine preset as well. I'm really proud of that. Uh, as close you can get to Tom Morello uh, with a strat, of course. Uh, that would be two of my favorites. Shows how much you can do because you've got one preset for Rage Against the Machine and then you've got another preset for the yes. police. And those Whole two tones. different worlds. <laughs> completely different. Really different. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And uh, other people do amazing presets as well. Uh, I really enjoy, uh, I mean, why bother doing myself uh, when people do the whole lot of work uh, of making the preset uh, or trying out and uh, iterating the knobs. And that's really... Uh, long time to try to find your sound and other people can do it for you uh, so I, I enjoy trying other presets as well yeah that's the beautiful thing yeah. about having preset world where everyone can save their presets and load them online a yeah. question for you is this is this you on on your website on the google play oh you mean the video yeah yeah yes that would be me that's not you. A, uh, not a great performance spot. I'll just share the screen here quickly. So this is this is the video. Yes. So these are the pages that everyone can go to. We would really like people to uh, subscribe to our newsletter because uh, we don't only want to be an app uh, to, uh, I mean, we don't only want to be a product. Uh, we want to share uh, our ideas, uh, be a guitar, guitarist platform to share ideas and to, for people to enjoy uh, talking to each other yeah. uh, and sharing content. Not all, We don't only want to share the content, but we want to see content coming from our users as well. 
it's a good start. You've got the preset world going probably when you get the online thing going as well, it'll be that much easier for people to hopefully so. be a part of that community. Yep. Uh, so this is the homepage here, deplike.com. As you, as you see, you get a free download. Uh, you, you get to use four amps, I believe, uh, and the respective cabinets uh, and, and a tube screamer overdrive and a delay pedal a loop pedal uh, for free. You get to use all these things without paying. So uh, that's a good way to start whether you like that bike or not before purchasing. And and I can tell you that the full suite is definitely worth it. You're going to want to upgrade. Not to, not to try to force a payment or anything. That's not what this is for, but yes. just having, mm-hmm. uh, being able to use it myself um, and, and courtesy of, of Depp like too. So thank you for that. Thank you. That's really nice to hear. Uh, you can also hear what each item sounds like uh, to the virtual guitarists uh, without having to buy the item itself. Oh, excellent. Uh, so that's, a great feature. Uh, that's the whole idea behind the virtual guitarists, as you mentioned earlier. So, right. Um, I, I really don't like the idea that you have to buy something to hear what it sounds like or you go to YouTube to hear what it sounds like uh, and uh, that that would be uh, you can't be sure if it's uh, polished or not so uh, we don't want to do it to uh, that like users well um, thank you very much for being here with me today um, it's my really pleasure thank it. you very much me too okay see you then thanks for your time bye bye all right, so I hope you guys like finding out more about Deplike. If you wanted to check out more about Deplike, please go to their website, deplike.com. Uh, I'll put the links in the description below so that you can find them. And if you want to test out Deplike yourself, uh, you can get it on iOS or Android. Download the app for free, give it a shot yourself, and see what kind of tones you can create using Deplike's app. So, again, thanks for being here. And thanks for watching. And again, if you want to let YouTube know that you like this video, please hit the like button. And that tells them that this is something that you may be interested in. And then if you want to subscribe to get more videos related to mobile recording or home studio recording, hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell. Thank you for being here. Keep making music.